Breaking news. DSS arrest IPOB commander in um, Ebony State with 600 rounds of ammo. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to Let's Talk TV. Thank you once again for joining us on this wonderful YouTube platform. Without wasting any more of your time, let us go straight up to the news in detail. Do not forget that um, IPOB has no business with the Biafran Republic government in SI. And as we all know, IPOB, Nigeria has been actually compromised. So without wasting much of your time, let us go to the news as um, the news they come to us. The news in detail. A high-profile indigenous people of Biafra IPOB commander resistible for the coordination of the group's activities in Ebony State has been arrested by operatives of the Department of State Services, DSS. Now, before I go further into this news, it's not today who've actually been hearing issue of, you know, um, of arrest of IPOB commander by the nigerian government in fact they do this you know to give themselves um you know to give themselves credit for doing nothing that is just the reality but you'll be shocked when i'm done with this news the news continues highly placed security sources who informed them the news platform about the development on thursday evening said the suspect named with head was apprehended following intelligence report of his involvement in heinous activities within the general area first first question why was the name withheld if he's a high profile indigenous people of biafra name commander then we should all know his name it should be somebody that we actually know but let us still continue with the news the source further disclosed the buying of scores of PH terrorist PHTs in Shiruru local government area of Niger State. A total of 600 rounds of 5.6 mm caliber ammunition, among other dangerous items, were recovered from him by the DSS operatives. Speaking in confidence, one of the sources said, I'm pleased to inform you that precisely on September 9, our personnel, with the support of the military, apprehended a high-profile commander of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB, who is also the coordinator of the, the, of the group's activities in Ebony State. At the time of the arrest of his arrest, he had recruited them um, several mercenaries for possible attack on the state and its environs, according to intelligence gathered. He went further to say, "We also recovered six hundred um, six hundred rounds of um, five point six mm high caliber ammunition from the suspect who is helping our investigation activities." We assure Nigerians of our determination to contain the excesses of these enemies of the state in no distant time, the DSS official said. We urge the general public to trust the DSS and other security agencies by providing credible information on suspicious persons and activities around their domains. In a similar development, a combined kinetic operation involving service personnel and elements of the armed forces of Nigeria, AFN, has resulted in the neutralization of scores of BHTs in Shiruru general area. But that is by the way. Now, for the for the case of this um, particular, in quote, in quote, IPOB commander, honestly speaking, I don't trust this news because we've we've seen a lot of um, incidents where innocent people are being picked but this particular issue maybe maybe they actually arrested maybe a fulani terrorist a fulani hairsman and they are naming him you know they are using it you know to cover themselves by saying it is an indigenous people of biafran commander let me tell you the truth if if a commander of the Eastern Security Network, because as we all know, 
the Eastern Security Network is being headed by the indigenous people of Biafra. In as much as Nigeria, uh, in as much as Biafrans have lost them um, hope and confidence in um, in um, uh, the Eastern Security Network because of the illegality that we are seeing in the indigenous people of Biafra. But if a top officer or commander of the Eastern Security Network is being captured by the DSS. Let me tell you the truth. By now, by now, the information would have gone viral. The inf since night, since night, according to them, the person was, was caught on night. So since night till now, we haven't had any issue, you know, of um, that particular news. And secondly, to still to still confirm the fact that it was a it was just a mere lie first of all why are you withholding the name what is the big deal about the name so these are the things you should you know check before taking in this information and lastly i do not trust any news or any information of arrest coming from both the DSSO, both the zoo terrorist army, the police, I don't trust any of their information. Why? Because it has proven over and over again to be lies. Innocent people have been caught, you know, on daily basis and nobody is saying anything about it. But meanwhile, let us go to a critical issue today. I do not know what you are waiting for. Hit the button immediately because a lot of things are going on here and we are dissecting them one by one. We are live and direct and we are broadcasting on two different platforms. We are live on our, on our sister channel, our sister channel, which is Biafra Unite TV. And of course, we are live on our Facebook page our sister page at the same time, which is Biafra United Official, as you all know that we can no longer broadcast for now on our main and official Facebook page, which is Biafra United Television. So right now, if you are watching from any of these very two platforms, I want you to do the needful. Please endeavor to welcome others that they may join us as we move with speed to the for this very evening as i told you many many things have happened already now i'm going to read this very news from the daily post a zoo media media platform of course which is also doing well on their own you know a uh, uh, level and uh, perspective now they said Naira slumps massively against dollar on Tuesday. <laughs> Not be me talking. Naira slumps massively against dollar on Tuesday. And I saw a video. I saw a video where Tinubu was in China. I don't know. Should I call it brainwashing or the people he's talking to? understand that he's actually brainwashing them but they just pretended as if they, they are following because when he talks they will clap for him when he speaks they clap for him so he was in china brainwashing some cocos i don't know those who were clapping for him maybe they are from the you know nigerian embassy in china because i don't believe that an ordinary nigerian Moreover, China is more popular. Okay, those that they call Nigerians in China are more of the Igbos, Biafrans. I don't know if there's any other tribe in China from where they call Nigeria, if not the Biafran people. Maybe few Yorubas, very, very few Yorubas. Maybe 2% of People, the population that constitutes Nigerian population in China, maybe 2% is Yoruba. But as far as I know, 98, if not 99% of the people who are in China, as they refer them as Nigerians, are Biafran people. So I believe that those who were clapping for him, 
were those who are serving in Nigeria High Commission in China. Because an average, you know, Biafra man who is working his ass out in China cannot even make out time to go and see the 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 the, the kleptomaniac. Talk less of clapping for him. He's brainwashing some umokoko there, telling them, hey, we have taken the rough uh, uh, decision to better the economy. How have you taken the rough decision to better the economy when people are suffering and dying in hunger? People are buying out of hunger. And you say you have taken, if you have taken the tough decision as you portray, why is there, why, why is money scarce? Why is the Naira slumping? Who is killing the Naira? Who is killing the Naira? Like seriously? So if you have taken the right, the, the right and tough decision to better the economy, is it not to take the monies from those who are siphoning it and push it to the public, to the masses, to the citizens, and allow the masses to live a better life? If you have truly taken a tough decision to better the economy, there are people who are stealing the money. So the tough decision for you to take or you have taken should be cutting off the avenues that people are siphoning the money and make sure that these monies go to the masses and better the economy in the, in the, in the country. But lo and behold, people are still siphoning the money Oil is still being refined in Malta, UK, and other parts of the world. And he is somewhere telling the zoo animals how he has taken a tough decision to better the economy. Now, let us read. They said, the Naira slumped massively against the dollar at the both official and parallel foreign exchange market on Tuesday. On both official, at official market and parallel foreign exchange on tuesday you see this is from a zoo media <laughs> all right this is our joy when it's like this we have we are happy that's why i'm bringing it to you that's why i'm bringing it to you because when things like this are happening it is for our own benefit I want you to be seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. I want you to see that we are succeeding because whether you like it or not, you can never get freedom in a serene environment. It is not possible. Anybody who tells you that is lying to you. I said, anybody that tells you that is lying to you. You can never, ever get freedom in a serene environment. You get it in a very tough and hard environment where things are completely gone and destroyed. That is how you get freedom. Anybody telling you you are getting your freedom out of peaceful means, that person is not going to be <laughs> Even Europe never get their freedom, you know, on a peaceful means. It doesn't work like that. So when the zoo crumbles, the more the zoo goes down, the more our freedom, you know, gets near. That is how it is. Now, let us read this headline and then we move to the main topic of the day. Please, if you can hear my voice, is my voice loud and clear? Is my voice loud and clear? Please let me know in the comment section, wherever you are listening from, whether on Facebook or YouTube. If my voice is loud and clear, let me know before we proceed. I won't stop asking this question. I will always ask this question for me to know what is going on because, of course, you all know Africa, African network is is such a i don't know i don't know what to call it let me know if you can hear my voice loud and clear that we may proceed all right this one is coming from the vanguard and it's a breaking news so we want to read this before we move into the main segment of this very broadcast we have to read this and uh, we are not just going to debunk it 
but we are going to laugh at the zoo janja weed right because gone are the days gone are the days when they come out with their propaganda and they will start debunking it listen and listen very good gone are the days when the zoo janja weed and they are recruited ipo dos nigeria west african limited will come out with their propaganda and they will start debunking we have gone beyond that rather we help them we help them to circulate it of course we know that whatever we do not talk about does not sell anything we do not talk about can never sell as far as biafra is concerned even though they are circulating it on zoom so-called mainstream media as long as those in the biafra republic government in exile never talked about it it can never sell <clears throat> that is how difficult it is for them so instead of us to come to debunk it, we'll help them to promote it, to market it. Go biang olena apafa. Yes, go biang olena apafa na pacifique. Gone are the doors where we come here to debunk their propaganda. We don't have time for that. Now they said, how security agents arrested top IPOP commander, eliminated Boko. Now, I don't care whether they eliminate Boko or not. It is none of my business. Let us read what they said here. <clears throat> they said, details of how the Department of State Security Services, in collaboration with the military, the Nigeria Air Force, and other security agencies, successfully arrested oh, a top commander of the outlawed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB seized 37,000 liters of stolen crude and the, the and the eliminated many Boko fighters in Niger state emerged in Abuja on Thursday. So they said DSS, military, Air Force, I don't know if NDC, NCDCD and the NNPPP and the 33 3 pc are involved. Maybe they did not count police, they did not count the paramilitary, they did not count the bubagon, they did not count, or they should put all their names. <laughs> so, you all of you gathered, including the Nigerian Air Force, the Nigerian Air Force gathered to arrest one commander, and they, they, they praised themselves by calling him top commander <laughs> mad people everywhere now they said a complete security operative told vanguard a competent security operative a competent security op oh i did not know until today that there are some security operatives who are not competent they denigrate themselves in order to carry out propaganda. I didn't know that there are some security operatives who are incompetent until today. I have only known today. Now, they say, told Vanguard in Abuja that the DSS, acting with sister security agencies, carried out the operations which led to the arrest of the notorious IPOP commander in Ebony State. Now, pay attention. They said, the source, however, declined to release the name of the arrested IPOP commander, saying that he was under investigation and will be made known later. Oh. <laughs> Zoological Republic. <laughs> Zoological Republic. Now, he, they said, he is, look at it here, saying that, look at it, saying that he was under investigation and will be made known. He was under investigation. 
So if he was still under investigation, how comes you have already known and concluded that he is a top, a top member or a top commander of IPOB in Ebony State? Yet he is still under investigation. No be juju be that. <clears throat> no be juju be that. So he is still under investigation. And again, you have confirmed that he is a top commander. A top commander of IPOB. Anyway, thank God they said IPOB. Uh, as it stands today, um, we know that uh, as far as Biafra land is concerned, for now, there is nothing like IPOB for now until Mazenam Dekanu is released. When Mazenam Dekanu is freed, then we'll begin to talk. We'll begin to talk. And I want to tell you, let me tell you the truth today. Do you want to hear the truth today? By the time Mazenam Dekanu is released, <laughs> That very name you hear, IPOB. That very name you hear, IPOB. That very name you hear, IPOB. Who sees? That very name you hear, IPOB. Who sees? And let me tell you when the name may come back again. May come back again. Pay attention. First of all, I want you to know that once Mazin Namdekano is released, that name will not me, that name will cease to be mentioned or to exist. I'm not saying may cease to, I say that name will cease to exist and to be mentioned. And then when that name may come, that is now where me, me will play a part. When that name may come back to existence again, is by the time we go into election and then we begin to, or before we go into election and then we begin to form political parties. That is when that name may come back into existence. May come back into existence. And if that name comes back into existence all of us will be into that very you know organization because it's going to become a political party under biafra nation remember i use may because we are not sure yet now do you know the reason why that name will completely cease to exist and to be mentioned Immediately, the moment Mazinam Dekanu is released. Do you know why? Mazinam Dekanu will be released to us. Pay attention. I want you to pay attention. Mazinam Dekanu will be released to us. And Mazinam Dekanu will not come and start deviating from what has already worked for Biafra restoration and for his release, which is the Biafra government. <laughs> Are you getting it? So he will not come to deviate because of an old name that even got him into trouble. Although the name played its own part by bringing the Biafra struggle to the level it was before we all joined and took it off from there. So for the name to come back again, it is something that will be deliberated inside the house and decide if people will go out in campaign with that name as a political party. Later on, by that time, Biafra has come and we have put the Biafra nation, you know, into a, a, a very standard level 
and then go into polit uh, 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 poli uh, those who want to go into politics will go into politics and then election will, will, will be carried out. That is when that name may come back again into existence. Now, so IPOB uh, DOS Nigeria, uh, the, they, they said, they said they have arrested your top commander in Ebony. But as far as I'm concerned, there is no IPOB in Ebony State. What we have in Ebony State is Biafra de facto government in homeland. Even when I'm talking about Ebony State, I'm talking about the old Ebony State, which will now have three states from that very area. And then we also have the Biafra Liberation Army in those areas. So I don't know. They have to come out and clarify what they are talking about. So I'm going to leave this one from here. And then we move into the next segment, which is, of course, one of the main reasons we are here this evening. Please, if you haven't liked and shared the broadcast, try and do so this very moment before we move. Try and do so. I want to see more Biafrans here as we delve into the main matter that has brought us this evening. Try and like and, of course, do the needful. Welcome everybody that you know. Welcome others while we move all right let us first of all see this one let us see this one and after this we will now go to the office of the prime minister in order to get the full gist you see for the past couple of days for the past couple of days news videos have been flying left right and center how the biafra republic government in exile uh finance minister oge chukunkere and his entourage have been meeting both Trump team, electoral uh, campaign team, and of course, on a national duty, meeting the, you know, the congressional men in the United States of America. And now they have taken it to the highest standard. They have taken it to the highest standard. Le I want to make it clear today. I want to announce it, announce it today that the only person who is remaining BIOG IE representatives to meet now in America is probably the president of America. I don't know if people are listening to me. <laughs> it choke, Abby. It choke. The only person that is remaining today now, maybe probably, is the American president. Right? So, by the time you see what is going on, you will not be told, you don't have to be told the level, the level that this very movement has gotten. You don't have to be told. Now, let us read this very news. Please let me know once again if you can hear me. Let me know once again if you can hear my voice loud and clear while we move. I will read partially from the Daily Post Nigeria before going to the you know office of the Prime Minister. And according to their publication this very afternoon, they said Biafra declaration, Biao GIE met US Speaker, Congressman Simon Eber claims. You see, whenever they tell you claims. I become agitated because something that you can see with your own eyes, something that is staring and glaring, you will still come on the pages of newspaper to say claim. Who is claiming here? Who is claiming? Because I'm going to show you the evidences. Yes. You will see the evidences. So what has Clem got to do with what is going on? But anyway, 
I will allow it to fly. <clears throat> no problem. Congratulations to them. Congratulations to Daily Post. And congratulations to other Zoom media platforms who are reporting, you know, Biafra matters. It doesn't matter whether they, there is this word that says, if nobody talks about you, then you are nobody. Whether they talk about you for good or they talk about you for bad, let them talk about you. That is the main point. The matter is, they should talk about you. For you to know that you exist, let them talk about you. And I want you all listening to me right now to understand that once they talk about Biafra, whether in good or in bad, they have already talked about you. As long as you believe in the freedom of Biafra, and of course, you are a supporter of the Biafra government in exile. So once they talk about Biafra, once they talk about Samanepa, they have already talked about you. They must not write your name there. Now, according to them, they said, the uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the Samanekba led Biafra government, sorry, the Samanekba led Biafra Republic government in exile, BLGIE, has claimed that it, 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 you know, oh, now I understand it. I get it now. I get it. I get it. I get it. I have come to understand it. I get it now. <laughs> Ichoku. Ichok. Do you know the reason why they now I get the gist? I get the gist. Do you know the reason why they always use this word claim? Because first of all, since from the beginning of the Biafra liberation movement, or should I say Biafra agitation? back in the days from 1999 of Owazrike. Nobody has ever, <clears throat> I'm going to give you two reasons why they will continue to use this word claim, even until Biafra is, is declared and beyond. The reason why they always use this word claim is because nobody, I said nobody, has ever attained this height. Nobody has ever attained this height. For the past 25 years of Biafra agitation to the last three years of Biafra liberation, nobody, no individual, no group of people, no organization representing Biafra that has ever attained the level that the Biafra government in exile has attained today. So to the zoo, on our buffer if they on our buffer, they do not understand how. How are we doing it? For us to have the effrontery, for us to have the capacity, for us to have the level to be having high-level meetings upon meetings with the members of the US Congress. On a regular basis, it becomes like a routine. On our bazoo, they do not understand how did it happen. How do we manage to achieve this? I'm going to show you another thing. I will show you something else. I will, remember what I just said now. I will show you something else concerning that. Uh, I, I don't want to leave this page now. Let me finish with this page. Then I will show you something else before we continue. Now. Apart from that, after this is the number one thing that they will continue to use this for claim. Then, secondly, do you know the other reason why they always use this word claim? Because the Zoological Republic of Animal Kingdom, Nigeria, and its government. does not in any way believe that after kidnapping the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, who have been touring the whole world, going everywhere, that in space of three years, somebody will rise up and accomplish such height and even go beyond what Mazinam Dekano did. You see, 
if there was any contemplation, if there was any contemplation when the zoo was kidnapping Mazin and Bekano, if there was any contemplation that somebody somehow will emerge again, they never knew it could come with this type of speed because it took Mazin and Bekano complete 10 years. He took Mazin Nam De Kano complete 10 good years to emerge after the sabotage of Rafa Wazrike. He took Mazin Nam De Kano 10 good years to emerge. I'm talking about to emerge. And then he took him another 10 years. He took him another 10 years to attend the highest level that he attained even before his kidnap. Are you sure you are paying attention? So, the time Buha uh, uh, the late Buhari's administration kidnapped Mazin Amdekano, if there was any, anyhow, that they also contemplated that someone else might emerge, they never knew it could be even under their own, you know, administration. They thought that maybe, maybe before next, uh, even with the fear, with the fear of what they did to Mazin Amdekano, it would be very difficult for another person to emerge to talk about Biafra. But if, paraventure, somebody wants to emerge again, maybe as it took Mazin Amdekano 10 years to emerge after Wazrike sellout, maybe another person might emerge after 20 years. They never believe that after three years, We'll be talking about Biafra today. After three years of Mazin Amdekano's kidnap, we'll be talking about how Biafra has governized everywhere and everyone, and today we are talking about declaration. Now, there's another reason why they are using this claim, but let's continue first. I'll tell you that before the end. Now, they said, the Simon Ekba led Biafra Republic government in exile, BLGIE, has claimed that its finance minister Oge Chukunkere and the director Bia, and the director Biafra Foreign Affairs USA Ada Eze held important meetings with US congressmen, including the Speaker of the United States House of Representatives, Congressman Mike Johnson, and Congressman Jeff Jeff Van Drew, Jen, Jeff Van Drew to discuss Biafra liberation and the interests of the Biafra community in the U.S. He made this known in a series of statements posted on his official X account on Thursday. Ekba, known as the Prime Minister of the BLGIE, noted that Nkere had a fruitful discussion with the U.S. lawmakers regarding the Biafra self-referendum and the Nigeria government alleged, they say alleged marginalization of Biafrans, alleged anyway. Let me not blame them. Echokwani bunketa ilote, no wero genketa wana abo jana achulugindiori. Eh? Uh -huh. So let me not be, let me not hit them with a Monday hammer. I understand. I understand. When they say alleged, I understand. This is, we are talking about Zoom media here. So I get it. No problem. No problem about that. No problem. We continue. Now, Ekba in his statement boasted that he is, uh, anyway, let's continue. They say, according to them, they say boasted that U.S. Speaker represented interest in expressed interest in supporting Biafra's agitation for self-rule. According to him, the outcome of the discussion during the meetings will help in the actualization of Biafra liberation. No problem. You can write anything. No while. If nobody talks about you, I want you to know that you are nobody. And the listen, do not be disturbed whether they talk about you for good or they talk about you for bad. It doesn't change anything, no problem. The matter there is they should talk about you. He added that the message of the Biafra Declaration on December 2nd, 2024 has resonated all over the USA. Of course, remember the 
title of this very live broadcast that we are having right now that says Biafra Declaration How We Outsmarted Nigeria and Gain International Recognition. Mm. Again, eh. <laughs> Again eh. the zoo now, the zoo is shaking, the zoo is quaking. They cannot understand, even in the next hundred years, how we did it. They can they can never understand how we did it. We are we have outsmarted them as we have dismantled them. Now they continued. Ekma wrote. BRGIE Minister of Finance, Oge Chukunkere, had a substantive meeting, had a substantive meeting and discussion with the Speaker of the United States House of Representatives, Congressman Mark Johnson, RLA, to discuss the BRGIE development in Biafra and the Biafran American community. This is historic and unprecedented as Speaker Johnson is one of the most powerful individuals in the United States government. The most powerful individual, one of the most powerful individuals in the United States government. Of course, he is the, you know, uh, 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 the Speaker. Speaker. The Speaker of the House of representatives the speaker when you say the speaker don't compare it with what you have here in the zoo 